Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Delber from Dialogues and Self-Discovery. This month we've been focusing a lot on the parent-child relationship. And a question that comes up often is, can parents use the option method and the ideas behind the option method to raise their children? Can children really understand the option method questions should their parents ask them? And do they understand the concepts behind the option method, such as nothing can make you unhappy and that we're responsible for our own unhappiness. And wouldn't it be great if I actually had a child here to help explain this to you? Oh my God, where did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. So, what's your name? My name is Nell. Okay. Um, I am 11 years old. I'm about to turn 12 in October. I'm originally from China. I was adopted um, from China um, at the age of two by my wonderful parents. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm going into the seventh grade. And, mm -hmm. uh, I go to Renaissance and Rand. It's a good school. Okay. So, um, you and I have known each other for a long time. Yes. I've met you a few days after your parents brought you home from China. And the day that I met you, I walked into your house and you were sitting on the floor in the kitchen screaming and, and crying. And I know you don't remember that. Nope. But your mom... And you didn't speak any English, of course. No. And you didn't really have a lot of words back then anyway. No. And your mom was standing there, and she was pointing, and she was saying, Nell, show me what you want. Show me what you want. So, I know you don't remember, but what do you think? What was your mom doing? Um, so my mom, she likes to connect with people. I think she wanted... She wanted to show me that there's a way of communicating the, between us. You know, I don't have to just sit there and cry and say, oh, I want this, I want that, you know, but like just crying it, showing a lot of unhappiness to get what I want. Um, I think my mom wanted to show me that, that, you know, that she was just trying to communicate with me and that she's there for me, except that she wasn't going to just hand me things, that she wanted me to sort of like, you know, at least try and make some effort to communicate to her besides just crying and screaming mm -hmm. on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And do you think you learned that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So I want to start out, I mean, you're someone that you've been exposed to the option method way of thinking and the option method practically your whole life. So. <laughs> yes, practically. Since practically. Yes. So uh, for someone in your position, how would you explain the option method to people? Um, well, from a child's point of view, um, option is a way of, of like, since um, kids usually use unhappiness to get what they want from their parents because their parents are like, you know, they want to make their kids happy. They feel like they have to make their kids happy or they'll be a bad parent. My That's mom did not think that. She thought that it, she's the only one who makes herself a good parent. And she was going to show me that being unhappy to get what I want is not going to work um, with my mom and my dad. That I was going to have to ask in a open, happy way for what I wanted, and that if I don't get it, I'm not going to get all unhappy mm -hmm. about not getting what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Also that, you know, at school kids are like, you know, saying, oh, she hurt my feelings, or I feel so bad, or something like that, of any variation, there's tons. Mm -hmm. um, right, right. I, uh, Option helps me realize, or I've learned from Option, that 
No one can hurt your feelings, and you're the you are in full control of your feelings. You, you, you're the only one who can actually hurt your own feelings. Mm -hmm. You can make yourself feel unhappy. Um, no one else can do that. If someone says, "Oh, you can't come over here because you're like you're weird or something," um, you can either feel unhappy about it or happy. And it's all up to you, really, of how you see people's words and how you judge the words that they tell you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, option, I mean, you said a lot of really important things there that have a lot to do with the thinking behind the option method, that things can't make you unhappy, and that, you know, certainly when it comes to being a parent, that um, the parents don't make their children happy or unhappy. I mean, obviously, they provide a lot of things that a child needs, you know, to grow and be nurtured, and they do things that they hope their children will be happy with. But that's a different thing than saying, I am responsible for someone else's happiness, you know, because I could give you all the wonderful things in the world, and you could still be unhappy because that's your choice. Um, I feel like humans, they... Humans are like very, they're like intelligent. They're one of the most intelligent species. And, but the thing is, unlike other species, uh, most of the time we focus on the things we don't have, except, you know, we focus on like, oh, I wish I had that. And, you know, we, we don't really focus on the things we do have because we always want more. It's something that, that a lot of people want. They want more of something, and it's always more of happiness. That's right. That's it's what they want. It's never more of unhappiness. I mean, they may say <laughs> that, but if, you know, they get more of unhappiness, then, of course, they'll be happy. You know? Like, that's sort of... It's like, you know, it's like, you know, they want more unhappiness. They just want to, you know, be shut up in the room and, you know, be unhappy by themselves, but that'll make them happy. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, that might seem like, a difficult concept, but it's really very simple. When people are unhappy, it's because they want to be happy, but they just don't think they can be. And unhappiness is like the second best thing to do. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean, there's always different forms of unhappiness, like mad, right. angry, or sad. That's all right. unhappy. Pouting. I mean, just the opposite of happy. If mm -hmm. you're not smiling and you're not you're not enjoying yourself, then the rest of everything else you do is unhappiness. Like, right. you know, it's all based from that. Right, right. So, you mentioned a few things, but give us an example of how the option method has helped you in your life to be happier. Um, let's see. Um, like, this option has helped me be happier about things that have gone on from new experiences such as going to camp. Mm -hmm. My first sleepaway right. camp mm -hmm. and also the longest time I've been away from my house not seeing my mom. For a whole for week, a week, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very long. Yes. Actually, not really. I mean, it was more like Sunday to Saturday, but that's pretty okay. much a whole week yeah. of not seeing my mom and having to stay in tents with new people and well I came with my friend and um, we were doing the sailing program um, where we would learn how to sail mm -hmm. and so one time we were sailing and she was being very unhelpful I did not enjoy my time with her while I was sailing we were supposed to be sailing um, some place to go and have lunch, um, and she 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 didn't really like. She had a lot of like bad attitude the whole time, mm -hmm. and I was pretty sad about that. Unhappy. I was unhappy about that. Yeah. And so that happened on Wednesday. For the rest of the days, I kept thinking about, oh, how my friend was. You know, you know, she didn't really have like the greatest attitude she could have mm -hmm. and I was focusing on that a lot um, but um, when I came home I told my mom about it and 
course, she asked me why I was so unhappy about it. And I said, because, you know, I wish that, you know, so-and-so would, you know, like, have a better attitude and, yeah. you know. And I made it sound as if it was her fault that I didn't have such a great time on my first yeah. ever sleepaway camp trip. Right, so you were blaming her. Yes, I was, yeah. for my unhappiness. Mm -hmm. And so often showed me that it was not her fault, it was just mine. It, mm -hmm. I was the reason for being unhappy and I didn't really focus on the things that I had so much fun on. I made new friends and I don't usually do that. And it was on yeah. my first time at a sleepaway mm -hmm. camp, so that was really cool. Yeah. Except, you know, I didn't really focus on that because I was still thinking about how my friend, like she was supposed to be my friend right. and stuff like that. Yeah, so a lot of times we get unhappy when we think that people are supposed to be different or we're supposed to be different. Yeah. So when you spoke to your mom, what kind of questions did she ask you? So, she'd ask, why am I unhappy? That is the first ever question. Right. Why? Why am I unhappy? And, you know, I would say, oh, so-and-so did this, so-and-so did that. It's usually because of another person. Right. And then she'd ask me, well, mm, did you think unhappiness was going to get you something? <laughs> and, you know, I'd say, yes, I thought it would make me more happier. I thought... It would get me, you know, like, comfort, or like, people would come and say, oh, you poor thing. Mm -hmm. Or like, you know, I could just blame the other person. Yeah. And then she would ask me if it was helping, if, you know, I was getting what I wanted because I was being unhappy. And, you know, I'd say no. All the time. So it was no. Mm -hmm. It was not getting me whatever I wanted. But at the time when you were unhappy, you thought it was, probably. Yes, I thought it was going to help. But it wasn't. I yeah. realized later it did not help at all. And right. In fact, I think it made it worse. Yeah. And then she'd ask me, do you still want to continue being unhappy? And, you know, I'd say, no, I want to be happy again because that's so much nicer. <laughs> and then yeah. she'd like, great, you know? Mm -hmm. And then like, I would change from being unhappy and having all the, like, blah, 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 blaming this thing, blah, 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 blah. And I would come from being unhappy to happy in a matter of minutes. Yeah. Most parents make it so long drawn out. It's yeah. like, you know, you know, usually they wait for their child to like cry every single tear. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that parents could understand better how to help their children when they're unhappy if they used option method? Yeah, and you know, if they use it willingly, you know, maybe they would use it just because they think it's going to help them with their kids. Um, but if they just use it for that, instead of, you know, overall making their lives so much happier, mm -hmm. then it's not going to work efficiently or as exactly. well. Exactly. We always say start with yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you start they with your own They need to feel happiness. okay with their kids being unhappy. Right. And with whatever they're unhappy about as people. You yeah. Know, deal with their own unhappiness using the option method and modeling that for their children. Because I know that that's what your parents do. Yeah, I, I go, yeah. I use them as role models <laughs> the whole day. Like, you know, like, you know, thinking, I wouldn't say what would, what would Marvin do? What would Ro do? No, <laughs> it's, it's, I wouldn't do that because that's, okay. that's not really like learning anything from that. That's just trying to do what they'll do. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, I if understand. I say, if I remember a time where, like, something they told me mm -hmm. or something where they taught me a lesson and mm -hmm. that lesson I took in. Yeah. Because, you know, some people can tell you stuff, lessons, and, you know, you don't, you don't. take them in. Yeah. And then, you know, I remember that and say, I want to do that. Yeah. I will choose to do that. Yeah. And, you know, it would work out. Yeah. Well, just the fact that you say it that way, the way that you describe it, and the way you say you don't just do what they do, shows how much you've in incorporated the option method way of thinking into who you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, 
let's just end by me asking you one more question, which is, um, what would you like families to know about the option method? I would like them to know that op the option method is a, a very easy way. I mean, people always like easy. Yeah. And the yeah. easiest way to get happy. And option method is very, very easy. As long it's as just you make questions, it right? As and long as you're willing to, you know, do it. Like, yeah, and make freely, it easy. openly. Um, parents, kids, um, it's like, it's very, very, very helpful in life. You are, you deal with situations where you're unhappy a lot. And if you don't like to be unhappy, but you do it anyways because you think it's going to be what you, like, it's going to get you what you want, then it's just not a very nice world to live in if you're no, just constantly sure. using unhappiness to get what you want. Because if you're happy, people like to be around happy people. <laughs> it's just right. people like that. They don't like to be around unhappy people. And so yeah. you're going to get so much more love. Mm -hmm. in the world if you're going to be happy and the option method helps you do that yeah and helps you deal with situations which you may blame other people when they have nothing to do with it that's right yeah and also when you're happier you can experience the love that you already have in your life and be more loving yourself and i'm feeling really loving right now so i want to give you a big hug and thank you for coming Mm, I love you. <laughs> so I hope that that helped to answer your question. Can parents use the option method with their children? And can children learn about what the option method is and how to use it for themselves? Nell didn't say this, but I know that she uses the option questions for herself, even when her mom is not there to ask her. So if you're interested in talking with us to find out how you can use the option method with your family, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about it. Have a great day.